Something as simple as going to the gym this morning turned deadly for a Houston woman. Police believe this all started as an attempted robbery happening early this morning on the southeast side of Houston near the intersection of Beamer and Fuquay. Our Anielli Reese joins us there now live. Anielli. Hey Sherman, just a tragedy. A woman showed up here early this morning to work out. She parked her car, got out of her car. Some suspects approached her, they shot her, and then they killed her. Who you think did this? Give me an ID on the perps. Give me an ID on the perps. I gunned this woman down in broad daylight in front of the gym. Like it was nothing, like a dog in the street. shot her and then they killed her a little before 5 a.m a woman in her 60s arrived for her workout here at the life fit personal fitness studio on beamer and fuquay that's when police say a 2000 2007 white suburban parked near her car as she's walking into the gym two males exit the rear passenger and driver's compartments of the vehicle police tell us the suspect told the woman something there's some words exchanged and then uh, one gunshot uh, goes off and she, she runs towards the gym, but fortunately she collapses in front of the gym. A 60-something year old woman thinking, okay, I'm in the twilight years. My kids is grown. I got grandkids. I want to stick around for a few more years as long as I can. B, watch my grandkids grow up. I talked to the doc. The doc said I need to get some steps in, need to exercise. I don't feel comfortable walking around the neighborhood because of all the crime. But I surely I can go to the gym and I'll get there early because, you know, we're still in a pandemic. So I don't want to be there when everybody's there and it's busy. And this woman lost her life, man. Some able-bodied dudes in probably their 20s or teens snatched her life, walked up to her, said something, and just executed her. This is becoming where it's like serial killers. These, these guys, it's too many people getting killed. In this woman should not have been killed in a robbery. Because they're recounting what they saw on the, on, the, on the video, on the surveillance video, which they probably, it's, this, hap, this just happened, so there'll probably be a video, they'll probably release the video later, but says he, the guy walked up to her, said something, and shot her. 60-something-year-old woman. This stuff really makes me mad, man. If I could do something about this, make it to where all these thugs get punished severely, they get what they they get what they give out or what they gave out, I would do it. But this stuff is this is this is really bad, man. There's some words exchanged, and then uh, one gunshot uh, goes off, and. She, she runs towards the gym, but fortunately she collapses in front of the gym. Officers tell us two people were inside the gym at the time. They tried to render aid, but it was too late. The woman died at the scene. People who showed up to work out are pretty shocked to hear about this. Look at the people that show up to work out at this gym. That gives you a good idea of what type of woman this was. Of her, her ethnicity. Groups are going to get tired of this, man. Groups are going to get tired of this stuff. Because I'm part of the group that does it, and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of seeing hard-working son people suffer because of this rampant crime 
by this very small percentage of the sun population. However, it is, they are people of the sun. They're doing it. So it doesn't matter how small the percentage of the population is. They're the ones doing it. Could, I couldn't imagine. Well, actually, I could. Just look at the whole thing the whole last year. Cops doing stuff to sun people. Sun people tore up the whole country and changed all the laws. Now you don't even have to be on time to school. You don't have to do homework anymore. And that's with only 18% of all officer-involved shootings being a white officer and a black suspect. Only 18% of all officer-involved shootings. People who showed up to work out are pretty shocked to hear about this. They tell us they've always felt pretty safe. We have Houston uh, police officers that come and train. We have Pasadena police officers that come and train also as well. Um, but it's hysterical what's going on right now, but... You know, I believe it could happen to anybody. Officers say the suspects might have been involved in another attempted robbery about an hour before this shooting. That attempted robbery, they say, happened just minutes away near Old Galveston Road. Her car was actually broke down, and she thought they were pulling up to help her. And then they brandished the gun, and she ran away, and supposedly they rummaged through the car. Police say the white suburban and the description of the three suspects matches the description of the suspects of the shooting. Are you going to share that description with us? One woman was almost robbed. Even though they did rob her, they rummaged through her car and took stuff. So, I mean, she basically was robbed, but it was almost... They probably would have killed her too. And a 66-year-old woman is killed an hour later. So I guess this is the part where they tell us they don't feel there's any threat to the public, right? So there's no need to give us a description, right? Police say the white suburban and the description of the three suspects matches the description of the suspects of the shooting. Officers are asking people to stay vigilant and aware of their surroundings. Just the senselessness of it. She's just at the gym trying to, to work out and, and is confronted by these individuals who um, had no regard for life. That looks like the family. And this is every city every day. And have you seen with Dante Wright? Dante Wright was one of these guys going around carjacking people, shooting people, leaving people brain dead. Dante Wright shot half the people in his staff. It's starting to come out now that um, people are suing him for their estate. But he shot a lot of people in this town, robbed a lot of people in this town. So it's safe to say that if one of these guys who had killed this woman and robbed the other woman had had a bad interaction with a cop where they were resisting or fleeing, not only will we get a description of the cop, but all cops across the country will be deemed racist and it will be round the clock coverage on CNN and MSNBC, not just the local news. Well, the suspects got away with nothing. They're described as young men in their 20s, clean cut and skinny. Police say they are familiar with the area. Now they are working on getting surveillance video from several of the businesses around here, and they hope to provide that video to us later on today. Live, Anayeli Ruiz, KHOU 11 News.